Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Aaron Cosby, how are you feeling? I know this is your first video with us. You obviously been on the show for the 10 seasons we're on, but sports has been kind of quiet lately. So now you're, but you're here, you're here tonight. How are you, how are you doing with week and nine of 14? Y'all kick, kicked a brother to the curb. Now, now <laughs> we on video and stuff. We doing big things. Y'all done kicked a brother to the curb. You, man. you always here with us. You always here with yeah, us. Yeah, yes. That's what they say. <laughs> But nah, I'm, I'm, I'm back. Yeah, sports is, has been, for the most part, non-existent. Um, right. Also, I have my um, my um, classes going on and stuff, and uh, right. final exams, which I just finished up for the semester. So, but um, yeah. yeah, sports is, it's just been weird. It's been really, really weird, man. Um, it's just like no, no basketball, like no right. NCAA tournament man no final four right no baseball no hockey they're talking it's about um bringing sports back without fans in the audience how do you think that will work um ah uh, bro i don't see that like i don't see that working maybe with baseball because baseball's because i think what they're going to start off with is with baseball baseball is yeah. going to pretty much um test it out yeah um, because actually, baseball actually did that a couple of years back um, with the Baltimore Orioles. They had a okay. game in Baltimore, and it was no fans because of the Freddie Gray um, protests that were mm -hmm. going on down, down, downtown. Mm -hmm. And so they just pretty much said, "Okay, we got to play this game, but no fans. We don't want anybody getting right." Getting. Yeah, I mean, they played the game, but it was just one game. I don't see an entire season with that. But with that being said, it might can work with baseball because baseball, in my opinion, isn't really as hype as yeah, to me right. as an NFL game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's slower. Just, it's slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with football and with basketball, it it's what you call it. like it's ebbs and flows. It's back and, and forth, yeah and momentum and teams build off of the energy of the yeah, crowd right and if there's no crowd to build off off that energy they could definitely do it with yeah. golf <laughs> oh yeah um, <laughs> they could definitely do it with golf really really yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, I just don't see that working even with um ho hockey like i don't see yeah that in. You, right. you need that that noise that energy yeah. yeah yeah so it'll be it'll, it'll be really strange um with the NFL, I just don't see it. There's going to be fans in my right. opinion. There right. are going to be fans in it for football games. Now, how they actually have had them seated, there might be maybe two seats in between mm -hmm. each fan or something like that. This, this even, whole thing, even, even, yeah. even, even with that, how do you monitor that? Like, right. Okay, you start people cause people I think are just going to grab. Plus, if you got the little drinky drinks involved, yeah, beer, that's what, yeah. Want, yeah. yeah, and their fans also what they high five each other. Yeah, they're, they're celebrating, yeah. right? They celebrate. Yeah, so I, I, I eat. Well, I know, I know, sports, sports is um definitely taking a toll. We've taken a toll with sports, you know, during this global pandemic. But one gift we got out of this was Last Dance on ESPN. Tell us, uh, tell us all about it, bro. It's like I'm able to like it's. Like watching your childhood. Like, yes. I grew up watching the Chicago yeah. Bulls. When Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, yeah. Des Robin, all of them. Bro, okay. That's the second three P with um Dennis Rodman, you know, which is awesome. Um, but let's also talk about the first three P because it wouldn't even be a second three P without the first three P and, and mm -hmm. you got Horace Grant, yep, BJ Armstrong, yep, John Paxson. Scott Williams, Stacey mm -hmm. King. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Yeah. Craig Hodges. Anyway, just, just, um, I enjoyed the last dance. It's, it's great being able to kind of peel back the curtain and see what some of things the we un didn't know underlying dramas was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a lot of, it was a lot of drama going on. You know what I loved? I love to see how Michael. Um, acknowledges the significance of Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman. Yeah. You know, during oh, yeah. his time. I oh, love that. Absolutely. Um, 
Michael Jordan would not have won those championships without, without Scottie Pippen. Mm-hmm. He needed a Scottie Pippen. And even with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, I don't think that they would have won those championships without right. a Dennis Rodman or yeah. without a Horace Grant or yep. without a B.J. Armstrong or yeah. without um, a Steve Kerr. Like, you, it's it's truly a team. Guy. It's really a team. Like, you, yeah. you need those those pieces. You, you yep. really just need those pieces. And each man on that team had a purpose. Yep. And they were a vital part of those championships. Absolutely. Of course, we talk about Jordan and Pippen, as we should, but we but we should also talk about those um, other players. The other players, and, yeah. And let's talk about also, which I was kind of disappointed that The Last Dance really didn't go in depth on the 1993-94 Bulls team, yeah. which was that team that um, – that won 55 games without Michael Jordan. It was Michael Jordan had just retired. People yep. were like, oh my gosh, what are they going to do? They're going to suck. They Do you know who re- replaced Michael Jordan in the starting lineup for the Bulls? Who was that? Pete Myers. Yeah, yeah. Pete Myers, yeah. yeah. And he had a solid – for someone – He stepped to, up. To come out of note, you know, he, had a, he stepped up. He had a solid season, man. Yeah. And those Bulls, that was a great team. That that yeah. was a great team. And people realize, okay, these guys are really good. Yep. Without Michael Jordan, this is a great team. So I think, it, I think right it went there. to it went to when that coach um tried and, to instill. and a great coach, by the way. Phil Jackson yeah, is Phil Jackson. an outstanding coach. He is. But um who was the other coach? I can't remember his name. Um with the Before Phil Jackson? Yeah. Doug Collins. He encouraged Michael to use his team. Use his team. He said, who's open? John Paxton. Was that him or was that Phil? That was Phil Jackson. That was Phil. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, Doug, Doug Collins won it. Oh, yeah, it was all about Michael Jordan. Yeah, right, it was all right, about yeah, Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah. yeah, it was Phil Collins. It's, use, who's open? Phil Jackson. Who's open? John Paxton. <laughs> Pass it all. And, when he, and, and Michael was a little apprehensive about it, but when he did it, and John yeah. hit that first three, Okay. <laughs> because Michael Jordan and I remember so that to... game. I remember that game. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, I do. I remember that game because I remember how John passed that. Yeah, he hit them threes. Because always the joke for me, and I'm not being racist, y'all. White boys can hit them threes. <laughs> they can hit them threes. <laughs> well, Here's we know. <laughs> um, audience newsflash: black black guys can too. Black we can too, can but I'm too. saying, but they're good at hitting them threes. Anytime I've ever played for. Yeah, we can too. I I was a three. I could hit threes. You know what I mean? Dale Curry, B.J. Armstrong. No, I'm not saying we don't. Tracy hit, Murray. I'm saying, but 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 if Dale you have that, that good one on there, he gonna hit them. Kyrie Irving. Yeah, Aaron, I, I, feel hit them I feel you. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. Yeah. I I get no, definitely we can do. I'm just saying. You know. I, I no. I got you. Cause of course John Paxson, Steve Kerr. You know. Yeah. I, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. you. I got you, but yeah, we can we can hit threes too. Bro. Yeah, hit threes. There was um, something else you said you want to talk about. What was it? Let's see. What else is? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With um, just with with the climate that's kind of going on, yeah, in the country and stuff, especially with the whole you know with 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 these shootings and everything yeah. going on. Yeah, um, which is you know that's bigger than sports like that. That's, no, it really is much bigger modern day lynchings you know we talked about it earlier on the show um we have we had attorney um mel dave melanie davis on who talked about it um and it's good to see it from a legal perspective you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and next week we have a former director i mean a former detective who's gonna be on the show um just to give an update so it's 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 important that we have these conversations because it seems like we're it happens and right we we mourn it we protest it and then it goes away and then it happens again and Absolutely. so it's about how can we get this to stop? That yeah. we're stop being um, hunted like animals. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, right. And because um, there's a second video, actually, there's a third yeah. video, like two, okay. you know, two other videos showing um, Ahmad actually going into the house that's under construction. Yeah, but he was on there for a minute, but, and, he, and um, even and even the owner said he didn't even have a problem with that. Right, right. He said he and, didn't have a problem with the house being the yeah, uh, and him going to the house. There's no, I don't, I don't believe there was a no trust, no trespassing sign there. But even if it was, let's let's say that. But he came, but he, he came out. Trespass. He had nothing in his hands, yeah, so nothing in his pockets. Even, 
and even if he did, even if he went up in there and just cleaned house, that it doesn't, it doesn't not deserve murder. A death right. sentence. Right. You know, when when I um, was younger, we we moved into our neighborhood, and it was a new neighborhood, and so mm -hmm. they were building homes everywhere. We used to always go into homes. We used to always, as kids, mm -hmm. go into homes and play mm -hmm. around. We we did more than Amad did. You know what I mean? We were yeah. playing around and yeah. um, hide and go see whatever okay. in those new homes, and um, it's just it's just weird. Yeah. Yeah, so, it, it, it it is. It but is. I'm glad I'm glad that um you know it happened in February, and I'm glad that so the man who leaked the video he did it not mm -hmm. anonymously initially, he mm -hmm. did it um to try to 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 prove that his friends were innocent, and and what it did was it showed light that they were guilty as hell. Guilty. And yeah. and um, well, so I'm glad yeah. because yeah. you know I was watching an interview with the mother today, um, and she said that. What she was told was her son had broken into a home and the owner shot him. And she said she believed it because she had no, she didn't think that a law enforcement would call her with a lie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which and, is, yeah. And yeah. so, and so she was grateful when the video did was released mm -hmm. and, um, and she saw the truth and she's so glad of the outpour that she's received with, people um you know just sending love and yeah. the outcry all over the country and um she's she felt if that didn't happen then she would have never know the truth what happened to her son you know yeah it, it's it's to know that that was his last few moments on earth and, and yeah. just to, yeah and the brother went down fighting i mean yeah he, he did he, he got shot a few times and, and he was still the last couple he he went down fight. He yeah. really did. He, yeah. he really he did. Would, but, um, he he would have turned 26 this past Friday. So mm -hmm. rest in peace to him. His family were thinking of you, praying for you. And hopefully this time justice will be served. Yeah. And people stay on this case. Like really, if you can, once everything kind of clears back up and stuff, um, go down to where the court is mm -hmm. down in Brunswick, Georgia. Go yeah. to the, I mean, people can go to these courtrooms, like go there, let 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 them know that we are watching this whole entire process. Exactly. People should not be happy just because they got arrested no. two mm -hmm. plus months later. No, see it through. no, yeah. th this is just the beginning. Right. You got to stay on them. You, you got to make sure that this is done all the way from beginning to end. That's it, yeah, yeah, that's all. And, and, yeah, and whatever happens, happens. It, but to me, it kind of speaks for itself. But yeah. whatever. But at least Ahmad should should his to me anybody who is shot and killed, it it should just not be oh automatic. Okay, they deserved it. Case closed. Nah, nah, nah. Right. Somebody should be arrested, be and there should be a process to investigate. That's what an investigation to exactly. investigate. We just exactly. can't go about what what the person who actually killed. No. The, the um guy said that mm -hmm. makes no sense to me absolutely yeah so but anyway Aaron Cobb, thank you so much man for joining us back again tonight tell everyone where they can keep up with you man i'm not on social media no more bro it's like i'm saying i'm just gonna say i just tagged you in the post go ahead <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on the gram man my first name last actually i'm going to end up changing stuff not right now, but eventually I'm kind of going to change change some things. But um, right now it's still my first name and my last name. So. A. Ron Cosby, in case you want to know, A. Ron Cosby, first all name. My, tell, all, you tell all my business. Man. You want a show, so it's gonna be your name. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Follow me on on Instagram, Facebook, and I'll call Twitter. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. All that good stuff. So. All right, A. Ron. Well, thank you so much, man. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you again next Monday. All right. Same to you, brother. Thank you. All right. Right back after this.